Mechanical champions take years to master, but could you master them in seven days? I wanted to find out, so I took a difficult champion I've wanted to learn for a long time Name Samira. and gave myself only seven days to master them. To prove I mastered her, I must win and carry a high elo game by day seven, and it was going to be a lot harder than I anticipated. No! No! It's so hard! Given I only had 7 days, I went for the most effective strategy, which is to get comfortable with Samira's abilities. And to do that, I needed to first see what a masterful Samira player looked like. Well, okay, okay, now that's cool. Let me do that. And then it was my turn. Clearly, I didn't know what I was doing, so I did some academic research, and it turns out Samira needs 6 style stacks before she can spin, each stack coming from every unique attack from the last, and it seemed I only had 4. Now that I understood Samira's hardest mechanic, I could say I was comfortable with Samira's abilities, in a custom game that is, because the real League of Legends will present me with a new challenge. I was one stack short before spinning, which could have changed the outcome of the fight. A similar thing happened later in the game. But this time, there was just so much going on. I didn't know what to do to get 6 stacks and spin in that moment. Either way, the comfortableness I experienced in the practice room didn't transfer completely to the real game. How can you press the S button when so much is happening? Today. I don't want to get comfortable getting S-style during a fight because in the game yesterday, my abilities completely blanked out when two tanky assassins were jumping on me. I couldn't risk being paralyzed mid-fight if I wanted to carry a high-low game. So to generate S-style more spontaneously, I did more scientific research in search for one Samira combo I could rely on in all my fights. Whoa, that's fast. I'm gonna use this one. And the combo was exactly what I was looking for, something simple and easy to remember. So I kept practicing it until it was time to reveal if it solved my style blanking in a real game. Woo, Let's go, baby! And the combo helped, although it had limitations. They'd always be right outside of my W range to deny me the 3 stacks from WE that makes the fast combo possible. Even still, I took this as a win because at least I was comfortable in melee range. But what about all the other scenarios that aren't melee range? I had written down a combo for literally every situation and when it came to that moment... No! It didn't work. This time, there were just way too many variations to remember. My strategy I relied on wasn't working anymore, and I had no other ideas. So, I needed someone else's. I went to the r slash Samira main subreddit and looked for a credible Samira player. This looks like the one. Time to hit send. I didn't even know if he would respond. So while I waited for a potential response, I was still gonna find my own solution. Which leads me to this. I had extracted some combos from day 3 and attempted to identify any patterns that could finally make it easier for me to combo S during a fight, which I did. Auto E, auto, double up abilities, R, attack and R, okay. Then I tried the second pattern I noticed. Ability, so ability E, auto. Uh, it works. What if we start with Q? Same thing. Okay. Okay, it works. Oh my god. Did you see that? I could create an S combo with barely any thinking. Of course, I still needed to see if it would work in a real game. But instead of playing the normal League of Legends, I was gonna try out the Soul Fighter Arena. The arena mode was great, as it gave me an accelerated learning experience. But not so much for the pattern I used. Trying to calculate an S combo mid-fight was often distracting, and it would hinder my actual gameplay. It's so hard! which made me reflect on my past attempts. To fix my performance blanking, I've tried using one combo, many combos, and even a pattern. The goal was to make the spinning process spontaneous, but I noticed all of my previous solutions only made it harder. The exact opposite of what I was aiming for. This leads me to think this. 
it doesn't really matter which spell you use just hit your abilities right like if i can just not hit my abilities i don't even need to know all the combos what i meant to say was if i could hit all my abilities and place auto attacks between them then that's a guaranteed S. This means I don't need to memorize any combos as I can get S rank in any scenario. And so I continue cooking, expanding the simple rule while considering other components of Samir's kit until I had this. I think this is it. This is all I need. And then whatever comes next depends on the game. What I meant to say was the order of abilities depends on the situation, but I will always follow these rules. Auto between abilities, Use W to block spells and E to dash in and out. It's really simple, but it might just work. Not only that, my findings were affirmed by the Redditor I asked yesterday, who turns out to be a Grandmaster Samira main. Nevertheless, would it be enough for me to carry on Samira in seven days? There was only one way to find out. Damn, Challenger! 80 carry, this is the perfect game. Okay, if I can win this game against a challenger airy carry, then that just, that just proves literally everything. But this game was not gonna be easy. Each enemy had certain abilities that could shut me down. I guess this is why they're challenger. But I have a strategy that might make it easier for me to carry. Given the matchup is Zaya and Morgana, I'm looking to farm and punish every one of their missteps. What the hell? He's dead. Okay. That was perfect. Morgana wasted her Q while Thresh and I were about to hit level 2. And we made sure she faced repercussions. Now, Thresh and I are ahead in HP and are looking to convert that into some tangible advantage to make carrying easier. Okay, maybe we can look for a dive here. So we're gonna terrible. Our dive opportunity was gone once the next minion wave came around. So we just had to wait for that wave to bounce back where we have space to slay them. How she is not dead, I do not know. We took every opportunity given to us and we couldn't score any advantage. Eventually, Thrash and I had nothing left. So the Challenger 80 carry used this to poke us out of lane and made us lose the golden experience from the minions. This sucks. How have they turned the tie? Carrying this game just got even harder. Now she's, she's fed more than me. What can we do to bring, bring this back? Well, there was this one last chance. One last chance to make a name for myself. One last chance to carry a high elo- Yeah, no, I really couldn't carry. Even still, I did eventually become comfortable styling S under pressure using the simple style rules. If there's anything I learned from this challenge, it's to keep it simple to achieve something great.